unimportance, so important. Nothing's so grotesque, so damn degrading as strong running from the weak. All over this sad world, so down and lost, strong men run from us weak. We're pussies in their hands, mere kids, and still they run, shit streaming down their shanks. Why so afraid, these monsters, who could crush us all like fleas? What in us do they see drives them so mad, insanely mad? Our weakness, that is all. Our faults, our worthlessness. We have a clear-eyed estimate of our own keen unworth. Know that we'll be forgotten because we were never remembered. Our cancers and our ugly nose die with us still unseen. Our honest little kitchen garden Peace we alone have seen. Our tears, our stupid, silly tears, are all the same, we wipe or not. Our little truths, our little loves, will last forever, only to ourselves. Reveals. Soft, her footsteps on the staircase as she raids the fridge at night. Sniggering whispers in her cell phone as I'm slandered, left and right. Panting, sighing, eyes beseeching as she beckons climax on. Her appeals to the grim reaper for pathetic lies I've sawn. Teasing, scolding, accusations since I missed her new hairdo. I am learning that a woman loves me not, and I do too. Today, day of your 70th year, I dreamt of love with you. Not love as you have of your beloved. For that, forsworn I am to hold my peace forever. Not love of friendship, fellowship, or love of Christ enthroned, nor carnal love, nor love of carnal things. I never dream to touch your untouched face, see you, or speak, or think my name will ever breach your consciousness. My love for you is in a realm which only dreams dare enter in, once in threescore and ten. 27 October, 2023. Robert, amoureux de Dering. La vie est pleine de petites morts. Celui qui les craint, c'est un vrai fou. Perdre un emploi ou un ami, l'argent, santé, les proches à vous. Celle que nous créons le plus, c'est la vraie fin qui nous arrive. Il faut apprendre à mourir, à bien mourir, vaincre la peur comme toi et Siegfried. Et cette dernière de notre Wagner, seul l'effort Aime avec le cœur. Seul l'amour sonne la beauté. Seul la beauté donne l'art sans peur. À Robert, jusqu'à la fin, pensant aux autres. Et à José, qu'il aimait. Her story? No weight's too heavy, seeing it fits her wicker basket, strapped to an aching back. 
Who will write her story now? Botresse of Liège. Carting coal to freezing hovels. Fruit to meager markets. Stones to build sites. Severed limbs from surgeries. Dead babies to their graves. Who will write her story? Kent Workster of Bruges. In lightless cellars weaving out some magic. By shimmering rays of shielded sun, her bobbins barely lit. Joints damp stiffened by thirty. Backs double bent by forty. Eyes out at fifty. So beautiful, her antique works. How intricate, detailed. Would you take fifty euros for this piece? Roll over, dear Newton. So Franklin made this world where likes repel and opposites attract. And Plunk remade another where light is both two opposites at once. Our mothers on the night that they conceived drank death, accepted knowingly the seed that keeps us spiraling into nothingness. Yet one bright morn, you and then I emerged and met. Or was it night? You positive, me opposite, in charges so that we attract. But in your orbit there's another nag that spirals loose. Since like repels, so neg original does entrant negative reject, expel. Nature must quite naturally, in keeping with its nature, go on this natural way. Except, cries Planck, a photon is both particle and wave. So, have us both, I say, your Stina dot and I, your wave. She wants your body, so I'll gladly take your mind. She wants to have and take, but I ask just to be and give. She needs the all of you, but I need nil and nothing more. So now across the world tonight, all Newtons sleep more cozy and serene. For Franklin now loves Plunk, and Ken does you, as Stina wishes too. Reveals. Soft her footsteps on the staircase as she raids the fridge at night. Sniggered whispers in her cell phone as I'm slandered left and right. Panting sign, eyes beseeching as she beckons climax on. Her appeals to the grim reaper for pathetic lies I've sawn. Teasing, scolding, accusations, since I missed her new hairdo. I am learning that a woman loves me not, and I do too. Redemption. Judas betrayed. Peter denied. One cast away shekels and hung himself. One found courage after three denials, after three cock crows saved his skin, after chickening, which he passionately promised his lord the night before he'd never do. He built the early church, its cornerstone, the only bride Christ ever had. Petros, Pierre, Pedro, Petrus, Peter. The rock. And upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Jesus chose him, knowing what he'd do, but knowing also what he'd do thereafter. The story isn't over till it's over, last page turned, paths of redemption sought and seen and taken. Milan Kundera, greatest thorn since Solzhenitsyn, 
as a devout young communist once betrayed a friend. Taken as spy, the friend languished for years. Could Kundera expose its horrors? Had not blackened his own heart first? <laughs>